How can I afford to get married when I keep paying out to you like this, eh? 80, 95, there you go. Hello. 95, you're gonna ruin me. Who the hell is this? The, uh, keep trying to sell him plumbing insurance. He's driving you mad. You all right, John? Yeah, I'm fine. Cheers, Dave. What do you think you're doing? Sorry. Screaming and shouting like that in front of punters. I'm just a bit on edge, that's all. Oh, well, tell me about it. You've been like that all day. Who was that on the phone? Um, there was no answer. No answer? So that's what you do, is it? Scream and shout? Like I said, I'm sorry. People ring the wrong number, John, all the time. Have you never done it? Yeah. Yeah. Just get a grip, OK? Charlotte. Yeah, I need to see you. Yeah, hey, you must have seen a few things in your time in here, Jack. You saw a lot of these down that cellar when you were the pop, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> like what? State secrets. <laughs> Racing gazette ball like you. Oh, okay, well, man. You never did a day's work down there, love. I was too busy dreaming about you, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Josh was asking how long it was till Christmas. Halloween, bonfire night, Christmas. It's just one expense after another with kids. Who'd have a mate? Oh, look, 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 look! look. Oh. Now, we couldn't fit on 74 individual candles, so we've done the next best thing. Oh. Hey. Did you that, Sean? Listen, I might be 90, but I'm still the Delia Smith round here. <laughs> <laughs> Blow the candles out, then. Oh, come on. I don't know what I've done to deserve all this, but when you've ducked and dived as much as I have, hmm. you kind of learn to say now when you've been dealt a decent handful once. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for your friendship for the past 30 odd years or so. And it's a pity out of here I can't be here, but we can't yeah. have everything, though, no. can we? I'd like to thank Connie for putting up with it as long as she has. Thank you. And Tyrone. And Molly, for being uh, like my son and my daughter. Yeah. And I am so chuffed about that little lad because he'll be here long after I've gone. So for me, he is the future. Yeah. So, raising your glasses to Molly, Tyrone. Yeah. And little Jack. <laughs> Molly! Molly! I'll give it a miss tonight. Um, no, because then it's gonna actually look like we've got something to hide. Look, Shan, Rosie's right. We've got to be upfront about it. Oh, no way. What are we gonna say when he asks us what we was doing? Well, that we're madly in love and there's nothing he can do about it, so naffer. <laughs> oh, hi. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Jan? Hi. Mum and Dad not in? No, they're uh, still at work. I was just wondering if we should have a little chat before we meet this evening. Look, if it was about the overnight, then... Yeah, it is, actually. Uh, OK, well, the thing was, my sister Rosie organised it and it just got way out of hand. Yeah, and... so I saw. It's that we need to talk about. I'll just text the lager supplier, see if he'll give us more discount. Oh, that's what I like to hear. I told him we'd go somewhere else if he didn't. Well, what do you think? Uh, well, it's better than the one you had on when you married me. Is it that bad? Yeah, it's stunning. You look fantastic. How's that feel? Yeah, great. Not tired to cross here since the alteration. No, no, it's perfect now. All well, looks good to me. Right, well, I'd better get myself out of it then before I rip it something, which, knowing me, I probably will. <laughs> Won't be a tick. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
They always manage to work them out. It helps when you're agreed on which country you want to live in. It helps when you're not pretending to have a serious illness. It helps when you don't force something on your partner that he doesn't want. And it helps when you're not being held back by someone who wants to live in a slum for the rest of their life. This was very naughty. So, Tyro did most of it. Where's little Whippers number? In the back, having to sleep. Oh, then he's up so he can give you the run around again, eh? <laughs> it was um, very nice what you said about us. I meant every word of it. Your happiness means everything to me. Which is why I've been a bit down in the dumps since yesterday. Why? Well, what's happened? Well, I was wondering whether I mentioned that or not, but you could always tell me it's none of my business. Go on, just say it. It's about the baby. You know, I wish I hadn't have been there and I couldn't help overhearing yesterday in the house, you and Kevin. I know he's the father. What is going to happen, Molly? I've let you down. You haven't let me down. I have. You know how much I think of it. And so do I. Do you? It was a mistake, Jack. Well, I was never a saint. Neither was Vera come at that, though she might have you believe different. <laughs> Hey, well, we needn't speak ill of the dead. I'm not speaking ill of a woman. You stuck together, though, didn't you? I know he's soft, he's daft, he's a few rungs short of a ladder sometimes, but he is the very best of men. He's my time on. I know he is. Better than anything I could spawn. Well, he's, um, got the duck with Jean one way or another. How's he heck? Never do what I did, what Terry did. What you've done. It was over a long, long time ago, and it was stupid. You know, I can barely look Sally in the eye. Jack, please. One thing we managed, me and Alvira, despite everything. Despite her run a bad luck lasting 40 flaming years. <sighs> As we cared about each other. I care about Tyrone. Well, then move away from me, and I don't care if it's all or Ontario. I really do love him, Jack. You see, I want you both to be happy. And if he doesn't make you happy, if you've got the slightest doubt, then you must tell him the truth and let him live a life worth living. It won't come to that. Baby Jack is Kevin, and I'm so angry I could... <laughs> I know. You will do the right thing, though. You promise me that. I promise. Oh, come here. It's a rotten world, Mole. Yeah, uh, you didn't see where my friend went, did you? I don't have any of that, but I'm still a nervous wreck. Yeah, but you wait till you've got a stranger prowling around your backyard, then we'll see who's nervous. It's affecting my work. Me too. You're taking bets off the unemployed. I'm in charge of people's futures. I made a howler the other day, got hauled in by the head. What, physically? Oh, you mean the headmaster. What for? Snapping at a teaching assistant during a staff meeting over a bowl of crisps. You haven't told anyone about the letters, though. All I can hear is my heart thumping. Unless it's his I can hear. Edgar Allan Poe. I've had the same thing. Let's talk inside. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. Shameful. Yeah, don't worry about the language. Yeah, but unnatural, though. Come on, you can't get away with that these days. Exactly. It's well out of date. Of course it is, I know. But what Paul is talking about, in a more general sense, is sin. When people abandon God in greed or in anger, in deceit. So it's up there with deceit, our relationship? Look, these are impulses. 
most of us are guilty of countless times a day. But we haven't abandoned God. I know. Feelings aren't condemned. The trick is not to act on them. Sometimes we have to sacrifice our own desires to honour him. Look, I might be a funny hero out, but if you heard yourself... What, do I sound stuffy? It's a modern world, I know that. And I know that some people choose to live this way. You see, I thought that it was all equal, but I must... I must have misunderstood that. God puts temptation in our way to test us, to make us prove our love for him. Well, um, I don't think you're as modern as you think you are. Chan. No! It's all good and well when he's got us rocking out to shackles. Chan! Look, I know this is difficult, but the church isn't rejecting you. It isn't. Look, things have moved on, OK? God got it wrong and he'd be the first one to admit it. I haven't wondered what people say about me behind my back. Uh, he'll be out day and night. That's the best he can manage. Good luck to him. Well, he's not getting any action, then. He's not stupid. He has something going on, is he, now? Are you kidding? Well, why'd you say it like that? No, I mean, it's just a decent bit of stuff. Yeah, he's laughing a minute. Almost there now, Captain. Come back in the morning. Well, we're here now. You'd only be paying us again. I said we... come back in the morning. Are you need for the temper? That's for Betty. Oh, have you got him down? Oh, yeah, yeah. One verse a little donkey as well, God. Which is look at because I don't want the second verse. <laughs> I could do with you at bedtime. Hey, now you, he's spoken for. <laughs> well, I'm suffering terribly at the moment. Well, what pills are you taking? Oh, I've tried everything. Oh. Pills that make it worse, don't you find? <laughs> well, there's more pressure on yourself, isn't there, once yeah. you're taking something? Hey. You're know, the best cure is for insomnia. A good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, I could do the rounds, eh? The sleep doctor. Oh, no, no. The sleep whisperer. Else get wits out of him, tiptoeing out bedrooms. <laughs> I usually have the most marvellous preventative medicine, you see. I half an hour with Norris, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> so, what's in, Jay? Moses basket. No, no, I've just thrown him on the sofa, but it'd be reek. Yeah, that's why Godson you're making jokes about. I'm only having a laugh, Kevin. Yeah, well, kids need looking after. I used to watch my girls like hope than herself. Could you keep it down just a smidgen? Yes, a lot more. I believe John Kevin you. Webster, like Peter used to get. Ashley just gets soppy. What sort of a drunk with Vera? I'm a resort, you're very amorous. <laughs> I'm just the opposite. I just want to go to sleep. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen Kevin like this. Doesn't take much for these youngsters, does it? When I think when I used to put away, I've spilt more than he could sup. Oh, are you all right, Kevin? I'm sorry, Sean. You don't dust pen and brush, and I'll sweep up for I'll you. I'll clear it up, Sean. No, no, no. We don't want a lawsuit on our hands. Sorry. Do you think he's had enough? I'm trying. Hey, Jack Duckworth, let me buy you a big fat cigar. No, I'm OK, Kevin. Oh, come on, mate. Me and you, eh? You spoke a couple of stogies talk about the good old days. I said, no, thanks very much. Well, I ain't keeping the hair on. Kevin, come on, you're making a show of yourself. Woo! Anyone fancy curry? I do. Now, come on, let's go. Curry? <laughs> oh, yes. Wedding dress fitted. Oh, no joy. Hey, mm. evening, ladies. Yeah, um, what's I? Oh, it's with Deirdre. I'm gonna get him in a bit. I said I'd pop in the rovers, you know, wish Jack a happy birthday. Oh, right, is it his birthday? No, I just thought I'd say it to him. Right, I'll uh, just dump these. I'll catch you up in a bit. See All right. You. Oh, uh, I've left my fags in the shop. Just, just hang on a minute, one minute. Oh, just stand there like a lemon then, shall I? Well, mix it up a bit. Stand there like a lime then. Somebody saw what we did. Well, why didn't they do anything at the time? Why didn't they call the police? I don't know. Well, what's the use of flowers and funny phone calls? Blackmail. But no one's asking for anything. Well, somebody's getting something out of it. Like what? I don't know, Charlotte. I'm sorry. We can't let them win. Right now, I'd settle for a draw. That's what I love about you. You always retain that stapian wit, even in times of distress. Can't crack up now. We won't crack up. We've got each other. Charlotte! One kiss? I'm sorry if I give the wrong impression. Not asking for the world. 
It's all right for you. You've got this to keep you warm. Try sleeping in my bed. It's cold and lonely and I'm paralysed with fear. Begrudging me one little kiss.